Hello once again and welcome to Metro Pro Wrestling here on Metro Sports. I'm Dave Fortune alongside Chris Goff. And there, Chris, you got a guy for your own heart. Yes. Maybe, maybe the biggest jerk in Metro Pro Wrestling. <laughs> no Straight way. out of Cali, we got Hoodlum here. You're the biggest jerk in Metro Shut Pro up, Wrestling, Chris. Dave. But Hoodlum, Hoodlum has proven himself. You know, he didn't get the win against Lars Manderson, but he has proven to me that he is the heart of a champion. Because you know what? He comes out here, tells the fan, look, he tells them he doesn't care what they think. He's from California. He's just, <laughs> that's a good that's sign. Stupid. Yeah. That's They're master dumb. They're all dumb. You know, he 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 loves his home state. Who does? I love my home state. What's wrong with that? He loves California. That guy's wearing a Popeye shirt. Who's who's side do you want here, Dave? It's great. He loves California and his home state. That's a real admirable book. This guy's a jerk. You know it, Chris. He's gonna get things started. Taking on SBC Sir Bradley Charles should be a good kickoff to the matches here tonight. Yes, Hoodlum SBC and coming up later the NWA Midwest Tag Team Titles. They're vacant. They're on the line. Beer City Bruisers taking on Heroes for Hire, but. My boy Hoodlum has the mic, Dave. Shut up and let him talk because I know just nothing but intelligent stuff's going to be coming out of his mouth. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's going to be real profound, Chris. Apparently, unless I mention chicken, biscuits, and gravy, you Kansas City yeehaws don't listen to a word that I say. Actually, that sounds pretty good. I am hungry. My name! My name is Hoodlum, and I am from the superior city of Long Beach, California. Long Beach, I love that. Sunny, nice weather. Shut up. Wake up. The last time that I was here, that walking economics class, Lars Manderson, cheated me out of a victory. You mean he beat you? No, no, he cheated him. So I decided to come back and show you people what a real performer looks like. I know, not, not like one of those kids. Those I asked kids. for some competition. I asked for the best that this company had and they gave me Sir Bradley Charles. Yeah, I don't know if you got your wish there. It's a tough challenge for Hoodlum. Oh, you like him? You like Sir Bradley Charles? No. No, I don't. I think everyone does. Let me hear it. SBC! SBC! Oh, don't chant that. Let me tell you something right now. All you punks chanting SBC, by the end of the night, we'll be chanting LBC! 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 It's the dumbest thing I've Long ever heard. Beach Cali. Ah, uh, great. Did you even get it before I, I told you? It, Whatever. Chris. That's creative. Here he comes, Sir Bradley Charles, Dave. SBC, SBC, Everybody loves SBC. this guy, apparently. You know what? The great wrestler, Chris. People not Cal a jerk like Hoodlum. People in California don't like Sir Bradley Charles, I know. I did a quick poll. They like Hoodlum a lot really? better. Really? Yes. Went out there and did a quick poll. Yes. You know, you're I have the company jet. I fly around the right. country. No, you're truly dedic dedicated to your craft. I'm impressed. I, I have am. no idea. Sir Bradley Charles is going to be a pretty big challenge for Hoodlum here. Obviously, Sir Bradley Charles has been here from the beginning at Metro Pro Wrestling. Hoodlum just one match, but it's been impressive, Dave. Well, yeah, I mean, I hope your boy Hoodlum's up for it, Chris. Look at the know, Shields. I don't know how much trash Hoodlum can, can talk if he starts off 0-2 here at Metro Pro. Dave, sometimes wins aren't what count, okay? Oh, yeah, really? Well, that's a winner's attitude, isn't it? Are they it? winners? Yeah, look at them. No. The crusher, Chris. No. LBC. I like that shit. No, the, so the kids stupid. are actually chanting it. Yes. No, we're chanting SBC. Nobody wants Hoodlum to win. Hoodlum coming to you from Denver, Colorado by way of Long Beach, California. He doesn't promote Denver. I don't even know if we should mention that. I just make, maybe it's his winter residence. I that would be a smart decision, leaving Cali in the winter for Denver. Maybe he's a Hoodlum skier. Hoodlum is a pretty smart guy, so he probably does do maybe that. Maybe he's a skier. Hoodlum and SBC. Looking forward to this. Sir Bradley Charles, of course, he's had some big-time success lately, kicking Mark Sterling out for a month. Haven't seen him. Yeah, he's been on a roll. You know Sterling's going to come back really mad, though. Looks like, uh, yeah, we saw him last week just for a second, tried to get in, looked really ticked off. Looked like he was sporting a new haircut as well. They lock up here to get things started in this match. SBC, like you said, it's going to be a tough challenge for this trash-talking Hoodlum. And Hoodie reverses it, has control of that 
left arm there, but another reversal by SBC. They have spoken a bit too soon, and now Sir Bradley Charles working over that left arm, left shoulder. Nice reversal. reversal. Reversal now. Yeah, thanks, Hudlin. We know it's a reversal. We just <laughs> said that. He's trying to edu educate these guys out here. Yeah. All right, Sir Bradley Charles throwing Hudlum down into the corner. Get him away. In to save the day for some reason. I guess he is clutching onto the ropes. Like yes. A, Back like up. Scaredy cat. That's a rule in wrestling. Yeah, we've seen, we saw Hudlum running for the hills quite a bit in his first match as well, so that seems to be part of his strategy each match is anytime the going gets tough, kind of run away and hide. You get inside their mind, Dave. That's how you win matches. Apparently not how he won the first match, but nonetheless, Sir Bradley Charles now with a side headlock and a takedown. Good move there by Hudlum, though. Leg scissors around the head, but SBC able to get out, now whipping him down to the mat. Arm drag there, snapmare before. And Hudlum's uh, trying to regain himself here on the outside. Code word for running away. No, 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 no. This is smart, Dave. You don't want to continue. That fast-paced action is not where Hudlum is going to get the victory over SBC. Hudlum obviously has the size. He has the strength possibly over SBC, although SBC pretty tough as well. But he definitely has the weight advantage here, so you're not going to beat him in speed. SBC. SBC. Well, nobody wants LBC, Chris. See, there's the sign, SBC. Yeah. Hold him so stupid, he doesn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be like those guys holding the sign up. Hold them back in now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah look, a friendly fall. handshake, no, Chris. No, you don't fall for that. Yeah. Oh, see what a jerk this yeah. Hudlum is. Yeah, no, that's stupid. No Sir one Bradley falls for that. Charles hats. trying to give some, some friendship, some what? good sportsmanship here. Here we go. Hudlum has him in the corner, and the heavy artillery there just unload with those right hands. Hudlum, like you said, in control right now. Some punches to the face. Now choking Sir Bradley Charles out on that top row. Yes. Choke him out with his dreads. Hudlum now. Irish whip reversal. Nice toss there by SBC. Come on, Match Hoodie. Keeps going back and forth. Now big body slam by Sir Bradley Charles. And a drop kick to the face. Not looking good. Standing drop kick by SBC. And Hudlum doesn't know where he's at. He's swinging into the air. Big clothesline said Hudlum crashing down to the hardwood floor. Okay, it's been a slow start for Hudlum here. Uh, SBC definitely having the, uh, the fast start. The momentum is on his side right now, but... Uh, oh, 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 slamming the head and face of Hudlum down on the canvas. Now big punch to the face, and SBC really taking out some aggression here. Hudlum asking him to uh, lay off a little bit, and uh, maybe SBC will... Well, he throws him back in, so a little breather here for Hudlum. No, please, please. Well, no, again, no. begging please, for please, mercy, please. Chris. Maybe not as tough yes. as you led us to believe, but possum. they're able to, possum. yeah, maybe able to trick SBC and slamming that head down on the middle turnbuckle. Hoodlum has the advantage now. Snap suplex. Yep, setting him up and hits the suplex right there in the center of the ring. This is a submission hold. Yeah, we, we know it's a submission hold. That's great, Hoodlum. He learned it next, LBC. Nice chin lock there in the middle of the ring by Hoodlum. Referee making sure it's not a chokehold. Just, just, just move it a quarter of an inch down, and it is. Get that referee's hair in the way, and he's not going to see it. SBC trying to fight his way out. A couple of elbows to the midsection, but Hoodlum yeah. slams him down to the mat. Come on! Kind of a lazy pin there. He did hook the leg, but only a two count. Hoodlum wondering what he has to do here. Uh, needs to break out a big time move here if he's going to try to get SBC at this point. SBC's been pretty much leading this match until now, so Hoodlum has to do something big here, Dave. I know you're waiting for it just like I am. Another submission type move here. Wrenching back on that head and neck with the knee right in the middle of his back. Yeah, the knee in the back there is the, the key there. Just the leverage he's getting on that, just tweaking back that neck and that chin there. But SBC able to fight out and giving him some elbows. Hoodlum, though, sends him crashing back down with the forearm to the back. Now whips SBC out of the ropes and hip toss over, followed by the big nice. night drop. Nice combo. We've move seen there. that before from Hoodie. Only a two count, though. Pretty good. Yeah, he knows how to count, Hoodlum. I don't, a pretty, good, count pretty good series of moves there, but Hoodlum, like you said, still needs a couple of real high impact moves if he's going to finish off SBC. And what's he going to tell the crowd? Yes. Maybe we need, uh, you know, I don't like Hudlum, but maybe we should mic him up for his next match, Chris. We should, maybe. He, he tells the fans exactly what he does, so that they explain the moves. And here we go, small package. He goes for the Chris Goff, but only the two count. 
Dave, I'm sick of you saying that every time. What? That was your nickname in college. Everybody knows it. Clothesline on SBC and Hoodie back in control after that near fall. One, Here we go. be it after the big running clothesline. Now just a two count. Hoodlum looks a bit frustrated here. Back to the chin lock. SBC and Hoodie now. And looks like he's trying to wow. work it into a cross face here. And that's going to be a big time submission move for Hoodie. SBC not really close to the ropes. He's going to have some work to do to get over there. Trying to get that cross face clinched in. Not sure if he quite has him there. SBC now able to get out of that, though. Back to a chin lock. Good idea here by Hoodlum. SBC, though, like you said, trying to fight his way out of it. Again, the elbows to the midsection of Hoodlum, and SBC's out of it. Punch to the face by SBC. Now blocks one by Hoodlum. SBC able to duck under that clothesline. Now a big oh. elbow to the face. Hoodlum's in trouble. The momentum of all of SBC's way now. SBC off the ropes and a big running drop kick to the face. And Hoodie is down. What's SBC going? Where's he going? Top rope, maybe? Hoodlum may need to call back on his, his street sense, Chris, from Long Beach, California, calling his streets here. He has plenty of it, plenty of streets. SBC going to the top, high-risk maneuver. Maybe going for the finisher here. Oh. Big flying body block, but Hoodlum reverses yes. it. One, two, but only a two count. That was a smart move by Hoodlum. I thought he was out. The momentum just took him over. Now where's he going? Oh, Slamming big. him down, big power slam there. Unbelievable move there by Hoodlum. He's saying it's it, but he's a little slow on the cover. And only a two count. I thought he had it. Wasted a couple seconds there. Maybe that's the difference between the victory and the loss tonight. I don't know he what Hoodlum was thinking after a high impact move. Yeah, okay, Dave. He probably should have covered him a little earlier, but and look what he's doing what are we now. doing here? That top, the top turnbuckle's off, Dave. Just expose that metal ring. Oh, this could be <laughs> bad news here for Sir Bradley Charles. What's the referee going to do about it? Nothing. Hoodie now, what's he going to do? Throw SBC on that? Oh, what's he going to do? This could be it here, Chris, if he hits this move. He's going to slam him on top of the turnbuckle. SBC, though, with the reversal. Drop kick, and now Hullum's face and neck go crashing into that. That is that. unfair. Here we the go, Chris. Long kiss goodnight by SBC. This has to be it, especially after hitting that steel turnbuckle, and it is Hullum. Despite the brash demeanor and all the trash talk, he's now 0-2 here in Metro Pro what Wrestling. What a cheap win. SBC had to use that tough turnbuckle. He didn't have to use it. He used it after Hoodlum exposed it. SBC saw that it was exposed, drop kick Hoodlum into the corner. That allowed SBC to get the pin. What a cheap victory for SBC. You're so stupid, Chris. We all know it was Hoodlum that exposed it. It's his fault he got hit. And it was the long kiss goodnight that really finished off the match. Uh, Hoodlum now. I don't even count that. No, he's 0 for 1. He lost to Lars. This, this is sort of like a walk. It doesn't count in the stats. 0 for 2, Chris. Oh, for two. Maybe this will make the guy a little more humble, but I doubt it.